Hello again. I'm quite interested in the idea of global warming or climate change, as we call it these days. I am open-minded about the possibility that the average temperature of the planet is rising. It has, after all, risen and fallen in the past, so why should it not be happening again? At times we've had ice ages, with glaciers reaching as far south as London, and at other times the Antarctic has been so warm that dinosaurs lived there in vast forests. So it would not be at all surprising to learn that we're entering a warm phase. On the other hand, though, a lot of the evidence which is produced to support the idea does look a bit odd. The thumbnail to this video shows a graph from the BBC website which was originally produced by the University of California. This covers temperatures for the last 200 years and shows how dramatically the temperature has risen since 1980. Two things strike me immediately on looking at this graph. The first is, of course, why did the temperature of the Earth suddenly begin to rise so steeply in 1980? All through the 19th century, the Earth was seemingly colder than it is now, and there was no increase in temperature for the first 80 years of the 20th century either. This was despite all the factories, steam trains, uh, industrial revolution and all the rest of it. None of this apparently affected the temperature of the planet until 1980, when it suddenly began to rocket upward. What on earth happened that year? Well, it's quite an easy question to answer. In 1979, we began measuring the temperature of the Earth's surface reliably from satellites in space. Before that, the temperature of the oceans had been measured by the simple expedient of ships hauling up buckets of seawater and sticking thermometers in them. From 1979, the temperature of the surface of the oceans began to be measured with increasing accuracy from space. By an astonishing coincidence, this coincided precisely with the temperature apparently beginning to rise. Of course, this may have been purely coincidental. Something else might have happened about that time which made the planet start to get hotter. But looking at that graph and knowing about the satellite measurements which began at the precise moment that the temperature seemed to be soaring, does make me ask if this could just be an artefact caused by more accurate measurements rather than a genuine increase in heat. The second thing which I find puzzling is this. The average temperature which we use as our yardstick is given in this graph as the years between 1951 and 1980. In other words, when we are warned that global temperatures might rise by one or two degrees, then what is meant is one or two degrees higher than the temperature during those 29 years. But what was so special about the years between 1951 and 1980 that we should want so desperately to keep the temperature of the Earth at precisely that level? As I say, there have been times when the Earth has been a lot colder than that, and also times when it's been a lot hotter. What was it about those years between 1951 and 1980 that was so perfect? Why have we not taken as our average, say, the years between 1900 and 1930, or between 1850 and 1880, or even 1980 and 2010? I simply do not understand how and why it has been decided that we should do everything within our power to ensure that the temperature of the Earth should be limited to what it was in the 1960s and 1970s. Perhaps I'm missing something here. I mean, is it just nostalgia for the past or what? As I say, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if the Earth were getting warmer, but I'm not really sure why that would be such a bad thing.